it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here back with another video on Clover Creek. Um, so, oops. as you saw in the uh, previous video, I was doing some rolling and whatnot. Uh, finished all of the field work stuff, uh, or like the tillage and whatnot. So, now we are uh, down to planting. So, uh, all of the fields here are 6.2 pH, so that's pretty dang good there. Um, the moisture is 100% in most of these fields. Uh, let's see, this field didn't get rolled at all. Yeah, this is still 100. Um, I was rolling, and then all of a sudden it started raining. So, it got way more moisture than I would planned. N is 15, P, uh, PK is 5, and then everything has the first round of herbicide on it. So, we're all set to go. We're down to $76,000, so we're running down our money, uh, but anyhow, we're going to start planting here. We're going to start with some, um, let's see what crop we're going to start with. i bring up my notes here, if my phone will cooperate. <sighs> Let's see, so field 31 is what we're going to start on, and that is in soybeans. Uh, soybean. So we're going to go ahead and fill this thing up. forget that we have a wagon for this. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and drive up here to the field. pickup and first off we'll get this opened up Let's see can we yes we can get that out so we're gonna put the k30 to work here running our seed wagon oops can't clip the wall there Look at this. Ah, excuse me. We'll get this unfolded. Uh, and we're going to totally miss. Now comes the fun part of trying to back this thing up. I don't want I don't have to worry about back lining it up when I back up here. Pull forward here and do that. Okay, I got a better idea. Let's just pull the tractor ahead. <laughs> Why not? Okay, so we'll get that refilling. We'll grab a screenshot. Okay, so we 
around the planter just like this. First off, we'll do some headlands. So let's get uh, to planting. This does not have working ridge markers, so... Let's see, we'll plant about eight, I think. Is what That'll work pretty good. Tell where I have planted, where I haven't. There's a slight difference. Not a whole lot, though. So yeah, um, the reason that you're seeing Farm Sim today instead of My Summer Car is that I forgot, well, first off, let me go back a little bit. So I had been recording a video for, to, you know, the day you're seeing this one, it's Saturday right now, but, you know, the day that you're seeing this video, and um, let's just cut this field like this. Anyway, I was recording the video for today, and, you know, getting the engine put together and all that stuff, and then the phone rings. So I decide, okay, I'll go answer it and see what it is. Somebody needs their um, septic tank pumped. Okay, so we get in the truck, drive there, finally find it, and I'm sticking the hose in there. I fell in, and I realized that I did not have... Or that I had the, you know, permanent death enabled. So, yeah, needless to say, that save game is gone. So, it's going to be a little while before I uh, get back to where I, where I was. But, uh, yeah, so, um, I would be doing American Truck Sim this coming week, but I just, I really don't feel like it. I'm kind of tired of that game in a way I just don't feel feel like it so um, I'm gonna do some different stuff I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet if I'm gonna do like some Giants editor stuff or if I'm going to do uh, you know like throw in one extra farm sim 15 and one extra farm sim 13 or how I'm gonna do this because um, like I said it'll be a little while until I get Excuse me, until I get back to where I was. So. Uh, yeah, so. So until then, I'm not sure what exactly I'm going to do in replace of that. I'll figure that out. So it's definitely going to take a while to do all the planting, but oh well. Um, so yeah, um, tomorrow's video would be on here, but what I'm going to try and do is try and get on my dedicated server, get some of the guys on there and um, you know record a video that way, or record a video on there and have that for tomorrow's video instead of you know another clover creek video because it'll be exactly the same as what's going on right now uh, there will be a lot of planting videos and you know the kind of bad thing is that we're planting here and we're planting in fs13 now so planting is all that there is right now but yeah so the my summer car will just be on hold until i can get back to where I where I was, um, the American Truck Sim, I'm just, I'm done with it, um, I don't know, I just, I don't know, just don't enjoy it anymore, um, probably because I played it for, like, I went through a phase, like a time where it's just like, you know, kind of got sick of Farm Sim, 
So then I just played a whole bunch of American Truck Sim. So that now, you know, American Truck Sim is kind of like, uh. Just kind of burned out of it. So, I'll figure something out. Um, I have been starting a new project. So maybe the so maybe Wednesdays and Sundays uh, I'll video that instead we'll see not quite sure yet like I said though Yeah, there's a lot of ground to plant. So this field's in soybeans. Um, oops. That's rock. No, 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 no. Shoot. That was the wrong key, too. Ugh. I meant to hit nine. I bumped. Oh, crap. I suppose this planter doesn't have cultivation in it. No. Shoot. Okay, um, I'll fix that later. Oh my god. So field 31 here, this is soybeans. 30 is sorghum. Um, 35 is rye. 37 sunflowers. And 39 oats. So, we'll see. Maybe with the oats, we can... Maybe, like the oats and the rye, maybe they have... You know, it's in there so that you can drop straw with those. So if it is, then we can rent a baler. Or actually, yeah, we could rent a baler or a forage wagon or something. You know, something to pick up that straw and then sell it and get a little extra money that way as well. Uh, be another way to get some good cash and whatnot. So, so yeah, um... I think I'm probably for now just going to do the videos of my new project uh, for the Wednesday and Sunday videos um, for a while at least and so keep an eye out on Wednesday for that and you'll see what that uh, new project is. Um, I haven't decided what I'm doing for this week's Thursday modding. Uh, as of yet, I have not figured, you know, decided. I'm not going to do another video on the Lodestar uh, at the moment because uh, at the moment it's kind of on hold in a way. Um, I'm get, going to find some original textures from it, so maybe get some original wheel and whatnot stuff from for it. Uh, we'll see here. But. Uh, yeah, I did get a bunch of ATS trucks, so might work on those. We'll see. Uh, I haven't decided yet. Actually, no. I know exactly what I'll do on the Wednesdays and Thursdays. Okay. Um, uh, I gotta think here now. I gotta decide. Okay, so right about now there should be an icon up in the top right corner provided that I remember to add it um, but you vote um, should I do the videos of my new project or should I do uh, start a series on county line uh, here in FS 15 so yeah that'll be up in the top right corner um, vote I guess I I don't know. <laughs> uh, the project is a mod, so I guess that'll kind of be a hint or something. I don't know. Okay, so let's get the 84 here and grab the cultivator so we can get that little spot cultivated.
So yeah, if I do county line, it'll definitely be with some larger equipment. Um, you know, I won't be starting out small. If I do the series on county line, um, it'll be you know, like newer equipment, bigger equipment, and I'll probably just like either take out a huge loan or just cheat in some money or something. Uh, just something, you know, it's like a larger scale farming or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, so make sure that you vote uh, county line or new project. Uh, both of those options will be up there. Uh, make sure that, like, you could comment it if you want it, like, if you really, really w badly wanted to, but I'd much rather that you just put it up there. Then I don't have to sit and, you know, figure out, okay, is there stuff in the comments or what? I can just go to that one spot, and it's all right there and good to go. So, there, we got that fixed up. We're just going to pull this guy off to the side here. Now we will lift this guy and turn around and fix this little area. How fast can I fly out this thing? Geez, 17? That's definitely a little fast. But yeah, so um, as I was saying, I did download a bunch of ATS trucks, so I might do, might work on one of those in the Thursday modding. I haven't decided yet. Like I said, I'm hoping tomorrow um, for tomorrow's, you know, Monday's video. Um, I can get on the server with some of the guys, um, at least two of them, hopefully, so then, you know, we can have a combine, a grain cart, and a truck operator, or something like that, or a couple grain carts, I don't know, but hopefully a couple of us can get on there tomorrow, um, tomorrow will be, you know, meaning Sunday, <clears throat> um, I know a couple of the guys were around, gonna be around, weren't gonna be around, you know, today, I was hoping to do it today here instead of this video but um, they aren't around there's a couple of them that aren't around today but are around tomorrow so I guess I'll just do it tomorrow so this is definitely going to take a while to plant all this but But we'll have it all done eventually, and we'll be able to make all kinds of money from it. I like this planter. I just kind of wish it was a little bit bigger, but... Or, uh, I wish not the planter itself. Well, I know, let's see, this is the 8 row. I think there was like a 12 row of these I saw on Tractor House or something. But definitely when we upgrade, I want to get um, like the 12 or the 24 row. I got to get a bigger drill. Or I got to find like a nice drill. I do have a couple in 13 that I want to convert, and there's a couple in 11, well, not just convert, but, you know, like, put them in Blender, you know, make it so it'll work with dirt and all that stuff, but, um, yeah, there's just a couple, there's a couple in, like, from 13, a couple from 11 that, you know, just want to take, and I have a giant list of stuff that is in 13 and 11 that I want to take out, and 
take it and put it uh, shoot I just lifted it so I dropped it um, I got a notification for a comment and I just totally lost my train of thought well then <laughs> oh um, but yeah there's a whole I have a whole list of stuff that is in like 13 and 11 that I want to take and you know there's also some 17 stuff that I'd love to have here in 15 um, I have a buddy of mine that he hasn't reinstalled his 17 yet he had a virus on his computer so it got you know off, it got taken off when he got it cleaned but um, when he reinstalls it, he's going to send me all the data files for it so that I can take some stuff from there. Like, I want to go on to Goldcrest and take a bunch of objects from there. Goldcrest and uh, the other map, you know, from the maps on there, and then also um, just a bunch of the mod models and, you know, put them here in 15. So... I haven't seen any modded things. Many, I guess I should say. There were a few modded things that I've seen that uh, I want to work with. But one is a sunflower header. I should get that done, you know, now and then we can have it. We can rent it this harvest season. That'd probably be a good idea. Um, there should be a gleaner combine coming out pretty soon. Uh, I know for 17 at least, I'm pretty sure he was doing a 15 version too, and I'm excited for that. It's the Gleaner S98 Combine from Polygonish. Um, I guess the guy is going to release it, so, uh, so that'll be kind of neat to have a nice Gleaner Combine. Uh, Big Boss Modding did release a pack with a couple nice Gleaners in it, but... I think those are more a European style gleaner than American. Uh, this S98 is definitely American. This is actually the newest, I think it's the newest one that gleaner has, or Agco, I guess. It's not really gleaner, owned by gleaner anymore, but um, I think that's the biggest and newest combine they have at the moment. I know I have a 164 scale replica of um, the S97 I believe so that's just a little bit smaller than that one but it definitely wouldn't be a combine that we buy right now but it would definitely be something that I would consider you know, like selling our combine and just renting it which selling the combine and you know the com the TR99 that we have right now that had crossed my mind uh, selling that and the grain cart or actually keeping the grain cart, but you know selling the combine and Then once harvest time comes just renting like a 96 70 STS or something you know, Just renting a bigger combine, but I don't know um, You let me know what you guys think you know Would you rather we sell the TR and just rent a combine or should we keep the TR for a while yet until we can afford to buy a combine, a bigger combine? Um, let me know. But yeah, I should definitely. That's what I'll do in the Thursday modding. I'll work on uh, that sunflower header. That's what we'll do. Um, should work with that combine. If not, we can rent a small combine or something. Or just find a different header, I don't know. So this planter is not uh, spec mapped. Or dirt mapped. Let's see, does this actually... Oh, it's one solid model. I was wondering if it would... Uh, if this would flex, you know, when I... Like, when you lift the planter... No, the row units don't quite go all the way up with everything else. They're kind of sagging just a little bit. But it doesn't. So that sucks. Let's see, what do we 
we at here? 25 minutes already? Jeez, we only have a little corner done. Definitely gonna be here a while. So I guess one good thing about this, you know, how this will be taking a lot longer, is uh, on the MAFM series, we won't be... Um, we'll be, like, working on fertilizer and stuff when we're still planting here. So the only things that we have to do here, um, you know, once we're done planting, I'll go like a growth stage or two and then put down uh, the first growth stage and then put down the second of the two herbicides for each field. Um, you know, renting a row gator sprayer again. And then, except that time, it won't be the floater version. It'll be the, you know, the normal version. But, yeah, so then we'll uh, plant, go growth stage, spray the second herbicide, and then we'll be ready to fast forward all the way up to harvest. So that'll be awesome. Um, it'll probably take a few weeks. Um, I'm hoping no more than, like, two episodes per field. So, you know, like here, this video... Um, you know, here is at the starting of this field, and then the next video on here will be like, you know, I'll keep planting off camera until the field is like close to done, and then we'll, you know, in the next video, be finishing this field and then starting on the sorghum, and uh, so that'll just be how every field will go, except, well, you know, that's how this field will go, you know, starting and then finishing and starting the next but then after that it'll be you know like planting a little bit after the previous video and then the next video will be you know so like it'll be two episodes you know one episode of only that field and then two episodes of you know like halfway that field um, so Let's see here, let's just go down to the end of this and plant all the way up. There we go. Oh. Also, this planter is revving this tractor, huh? That's pretty cool. Should be nearing the end here. Yeah, we're getting pretty close, so I will just start on things now, I guess. Um, but yeah, so like I said, I'll keep planting until this field's getting close to done, and then, um, and like I said, the voting thing. Make sure that you do that. Um, if you like skipped through the video and you just heard about the voting thing, go all the way back to the beginning and watch, uh, and you'll hear the vote. Um, and then be sure to do that so yeah guys that'll do it for this video uh, if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel be sure to subscribe if you like what you see be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video be sure to check out down below in the description for link my PC specs my upload schedule as well as links to all of my social medias, my mod site, and other cool YouTube channels that are definitely worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.